Hi, this is Professor Stefan Schmidt at Iowa State. Um, wanted to take a couple of minutes to talk about uh, the role of interest groups in Iowa. Of course, like every other state, Iowa has a big variety of interest groups. And um, what's, what's fascinating is that they range across uh, a, a series of very different kinds of topical areas. So let me show you a couple of things that uh, I want to talk about. Uh, here is uh, EMC Insurance Company's uh, website. Uh, Des Moines uh, is the second largest insurance capital in the United States, and insurance companies have a lot of influence in Iowa. Um, Wellmark, Blue Cross Blue Shield, the principal financial group, EMC Insurance, and others are very big players. They contribute to campaigns, they contribute to community, um, uh, you know, civic organizations, um, and they are very powerful because they account for a significant percentage of uh, employment in the state of Iowa. So insurance companies are definitely an interest group that I would have you keep your eye on. Of course, we live in Iowa, which means agriculture is very important. And I've got the uh, website up here for the Iowa Farm Bureau. The Farm Bureau, of course, is um, one of the largest uh, organizations representing um, agricultural I interests and um, you will find the Farm Bureau involved both in Iowa and nationally in virtually every single issue um, that is of importance to the agricultural sector. Um, they are there to protect the interests of farmers. They generally represent large farmers and um, they want to make sure that all kinds of regulations, uh, th for example, recently there was a uh, a big brouhaha in Iowa about the way that uh, chickens were treated in Iowa is, is I think the largest pol poultry producing state, maybe the second largest in the country, um, and organizations um, that uh, are interested in animal uh, welfare were very upset at the way that chickens were being raised in Iowa. And, and immediately the agricultural community uh, started talking about how it was very dangerous, you know, to go too far in that direction because uh, it would undermine the uh, uh, profitability of these uh, animal agricultural enterprises. A completely different um, area of interest in, in the state of Iowa, including lobbying and the power of uh, organizations, uh, are labor unions. There are lots of different labor unions. Um, I pulled up the uh, American Federation of State, County, and Municipal Employees website, which you can see right here. It's AFSCME. AFSCME is uh, in many places now uh, the largest or one of the very largest players because they represent, as it says there, uh, employees who work for different levels of government uh, at, the, at the state level. And um, they uh, are there to basically protect jobs. They are there to improve the uh, salaries, income, working conditions, and so on of uh, uh, organized labor. And they play a significant role in the um, sort of uh, legislative agenda that uh, the, the, the Iowa legislature um, has to uh, work through each legislative session. Of course, for the fact that there are labor unions, there are also uh, business uh, interests. And the um, voice of business in Iowa is the Iowa Association of Business and Industry. It is a very powerful organization. It has conferences. You can see uh, a, uh, a little thing here about a conference that they're having. They are very interested in public policy. And there is a whole page here that talks about, uh, this is uh, by their chief lobbyist, whose name is John uh, Gilliland, a senior vice president for government relations. Whenever you see government relations, that usually is um, the lobbyist. And um, here is another one who is uh, Nicole Moult, who is the director of government relations. So they've got a good organization uh, working for them. And, and over here, they're talking about the um, uh, public policy efforts for the 1,400 members of um, the organization and um, the kinds of issues, workmen's compensation and, and other things that they're working on as they uh, make sure that the, in, that the interests of industry and business are also well represented. So that's one I call your attention to. 
Social issues are a big thing in Iowa. This is one Iowa, um, which is a or an organization that is there to uh, promote the interests and um, the uh, community of uh, gays, lesbians, bisexual, and transgendered Iowans. As you know, in Iowa, a gay marriage uh, became legal when the uh, Iowa Supreme Court uh, declared it to be a, um, a right for people to be married um, under the Equal Protection Clause. So One Iowa is very much involved in uh, trying to protect that Supreme Court ruling through uh, their lobbying activities and uh, work with the legislature and so on. Uh, of course, for uh, every organization that is uh, in favor of gay marriage, as you might imagine, um, there are other organizations that are opposed to it. And so an interest group that is uh, opposed to gay marriage is the Iowa Christian Alliance. Uh, they have a website. They have a lot of information uh, about all kinds of things and, and hold meetings and are having um, a... Um, a conference. They are, uh, as you can see on this side, they have what is called Candidate Watch, and Candidate Watch is a an effort to keep track of uh, candidates for office to make sure that they uh, essentially are sympathetic to uh, the uh, interests uh, of the um, association and of Iowa conservative Christians. And you can see that they've got a little page here where they talk about uh, races for this, the governor, and there's some candidates there, races for every seat, um, lots of information for people who want essentially to uh, have the conservative uh, Christian voice uh, heard in the um, interest group debate in the state. Uh, and then there is uh, Iowans uh, for Life, which is a an organization that uh, represents um, people who are opposed to abortion, and you can see that they have a website talk about um, a nonprofit or organization that dedicated to protecting innocent human life, and so on and so forth. Um, and and this is just a tiny sampling of all of the interest groups that exist in Iowa, and, and you can you can blog those, you can look for them, um, and. They are a dynamic part of the state, and they play a very big role in shaping public policy and also public opinion. So take a look at it. Thank you very much.